this lighting is really bad and off. I'm so sorry. Okay. Somebody wants up here immediately. Um, so I just filmed this intro. I'm just going to do it again because I'm just going to film this intro again because it was super shaky. So as you guys can see by the title below, I did adopt chickens. I'm so excited. So as of today, I've had new chickens for about a week. It was very unexpected, but I am so excited. I have wanted chickens for so long and you guys know that I bought my chicken barn uh, last year sometime, but then life got really out of hand. A lot's been happening. If you guys have seen my last video, I'm going to do an update on that video because you guys asked, but a lot happened last year, so I wasn't able to get chickens. And so a friend's mom actually contacted me. She said she had four chickens that she was wanting to rehome, and I gladly took them. Though we're in the middle of winter and it is freezing cold outside and it's very inopportune time to take in new animals. I, of course, jumped on it because I have always wanted a white silky. I love silkies and one of the chickens are a silky. She had one silky and then one... I think it's a red cochin, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm not sure. Leave it down in the comments down below if I'm mispronouncing that. I think that's what it is. And then there's two other small chickens. I believe they're some sort of bantam, but I'm not really sure what kind they are. I just haven't had time to look it up, honestly. I've been so busy taking care of them. Milo is like, please, if I put him down, he's going to bark. So here he be. But yeah, it's really exciting. I absolutely love them. So I went and picked him up about a week ago. I got one little white silky named Marshmallow, who I wanted so badly. I wasn't going to pass this up. And then I named the little red one Belina after the chicken from Return to Oz because I love Belina in that movie. It's one of my favorite movies. And I've always wanted a little red chicken named Belina. So this is the book that goes with the movie Return to Oz. And... That is Belina. I love Belina in this movie. But you can see Belina goes with her on this little adventure. And it's so cute. She has Belina with her in the entire movie. This is my favorite scene in the movie. I just love Belina so much. And yeah, she takes Belina with her everywhere she goes. And I just absolutely love it. I named her that. And then I got two little silver chickens. I don't know what they are. Please leave it in the comments down below if you guys see them and you know what they are. Yeah, but they're really sweet. One of them is the sweetest of them all. She lets me pet her and like, like touch her and she eats right out of my hand. She is just super friendly, super sweet little chicken. Really love her. Um, but they're all obviously so different. Their personalities are so bold and I love them. I've been sitting with them for about three hours a day, three to four hours a day, just getting to know them and watching them and observing them. I do have my security camera on them like I do for all my animals. You guys know I'm obsessed with my security cameras. I have them all over the property and I have them all over my animals. And so that's been really great. And I'm able to watch them and learn them and see who's in control. And it's definitely Belina. She's the queen of the flock. Belina is so bold. She's the biggest, the fluffiest, and she's definitely in charge. She really is. She's super active and I love her. Another thing which you'll probably see in these clips that I've been compiling, which is what I'm going to show you in a minute, um, we did have the ducks in there with them. The ducks were in there for one day and I realized very quickly my worst fear is that the ducks are very, very, very strong and they're very big and they're bullies and so they were chasing especially marshmallow they were chasing them harassing them chasing them off of the food they were just being kind of little bullies which they're both males so i knew that was a possibility um and so i had to remove the ducks out of there sadly now obviously the pond is still frozen it's still like under 20 degrees here it's miserable um in tennessee but no worries the ducks are actually in the basement we have their water and their hay and everything in the basement and that's where the ducks are staying right now um it's honestly a mess down there because of their hay but you know they need it and so that is where the ducks are at right now, but the second the pond thaws, the ducks are going back outside. I'm obviously new to chickens. I don't know everything there is. I'm not giving any advice in this video uh, because I'm still learning. I've never had chickens before, but I know a lot of you have. So if you guys have any tips, tricks, if you see me doing something wrong, anything like that, leave in the comments below any suggestions, corrections. If there's a better brand of food, if you don't like something I'm feeding, anything if there's an easier way to get them to eat their pellets like because i mentioned that in the video anything at all i did put a roost in there now so they do have a roost it is a two by four that's really the quickest thing we could get up in such short notice obviously because we got them so quickly so there is a two by four we put it up at about the four foot mark in there it comes up to about here on me um so they do have a roost that they can get up they also have a heat lamp in there i know heat lamps are kind of controversial sometimes so if anybody has any feelings about that, leave it in the comments. I'll read everything. I love reading that stuff, um, tips and tricks and stuff. And, but, but with marshmallow being a silky, they are not cold hardy at all. Silkies are super delicate. So 
the heat is really non-negotiable. It's getting down to like 16, 15 degrees here at night and it's just miserable. So I have to have them warm and I gotta keep Marshmallow warm as well as the other chickens. So they do have a heat lamp in there um, that's working really well for them. I'm gonna go because I've been rambling for a long time, but if there's anything that you guys see or wanna let me know uh, anything at all, comments, if you know what kind of chickens I have, like the little silver ones, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to read it. But yeah, I'm gonna jump into the clips now. So enjoy. Look at my baby. Look at my baby. So we've got the babies in here under a heat lamp at the corner, getting used to it. And then we got the ducks in here and they're very angry, but it's fine. And they're gonna get used to it in here. And we've got their boxes over there, which We'll fix up in the morning light because it's getting dark, but that's it for now. All right, guys, so I want to show you guys a few things um, that I bought, but also um, some stuff that I was feeding the ducks. So this is actually what I was feeding the ducks, the, this brand from TSC, the Do More. Um, this is, it has a chicken on there, but I was just giving it to the ducks I'm because my ducks are male, so they're not laying eggs. It wasn't a big deal, but my chickens are laying eggs, so this is going to only be fed to the ducks now. And then I switched to the chicken version of this that has uh, calcium in it, and I did the crumble pellet, so I hope they like that. Um, if you guys like it or have ever fed it to your chickens, or if you know of a better food, let me know. And then this was also for the ducks, so this is the duck pellet, and this is the duck treats that I got. These are flock party quack snacks. Um, I was giving a few of these to the ducks a day and they really love them. Um, obviously I have a ton of them left cause I only give like a tiny little bit to them every day. Um, they really liked it. So yeah, they really like that snack, but again, it's just a snack. And then mostly they get pellets and vegetables about that later. And then this is what I got for the chickens. This is some grit. Now I just put a teeny tiny little bit, like maybe like this much. Um, I just kind of tossed it loosely into the substrate with some of the pellets and some of their uh, scratch and stuff like that, just so that they can kind of find it on their own. I didn't put it in their food bowl or anything. And then obviously the chickens love to kind of eat around. So I just kind of sprinkled this in the hay a little bit. I didn't put a lot in there. Honestly, it just seems so weird to me, but I know that it's good for them. Um, so yeah, if you've ever used this and if you liked it or anything, let me know. Um, I just put a little bit of that in there and then I did just get this bucket. <laughs> um, that's the receipts. I'm going to use this for, uh, their water for watering them every day. And then I also bought this. We only have two outlets in the chicken barn at the moment. So we got this because, um, while I have a heat lamp in there, I want to add a second heat lamp, but I also have a camera. So I really need three plugs. So we just got this to use three of them in there and that's that. So now I'm going to take you guys to show you more stuff and then we are going to go feed the chickens. All right, so this is what came with the chickens. It's kind of a corn and scratch mix. It's not really super nutritious, so I am actually gonna be adding pellets to this, and then I'm just gonna be giving a little bit of this to them, sprinkling it kind of in the substrate, but I really don't want them to be on this solely. This is what they were on um, when I got them. This is from the lady that I adopted them from. Um, obviously, I'm gonna do pellets and vegetables, and then I'm just gonna put some of this in there since this is what they're used to. So I'm gonna try to kind of, um, get them on uh, something healthier, you know, but I am gonna put some of this in there because this is what they're used to, literally that much, and then that's it. And I'm gonna mix this in. I'm gonna feed this to them today, and then we're gonna get some vegetables as well, and we're just gonna toss the veggies kind of in the coop loosely. Um, but I did get a new feeder, so I'm gonna go show you guys the new feeder that I got, and then we'll put the pellet and scratch in the feeder. But I'm also going to be sprinkling this around into the hay in the shed because they love to search for food. It's like amazing foraging for them. Honestly, they just love it. All right, so here is some more stuff that I bought. Um, this is actually for the deer, so just ignore that. But this is a feeder that I got for the chickens. We're going to go put that in their coop right now. It can also be hung from the ceiling. So we got that little feeder. I hope it's a good one. It's pretty good size. Like pretty big so that'll be a good feeder that you just fill from the top we got a second heat lamp which we're gonna put there this afternoon bulbs this is the chicken formula food that i got it's super heavy and i don't think i can lift it while filming but um it does have calcium prebiotic probiotic and um i think this is the 16 percent yeah layer crumble and it is the crumble because my chickens are pretty small so i don't know i just thought that would be easier for them and then this is the trash can i'm gonna keep it in so 
I got a can and a lid back there. So yeah, and then I also got a pink rake to match my pink bucket, which is actually in the garage, so I've gotta get that out. Um, but I'm gonna take this up there now. All right, here we are. Hi, babies. Good morning. Hi. I see you have destroyed your food and water bowl. This is why we're giving you guys new bowls. Look what I got. Look, how exciting. This little chunky monkey right here, I think it's a Cochin hen, or I don't know if it's, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. It looks like Cochin. Um, she <laughs> is the biggest, and I mean like just eating, scratching constantly. This little one is the sweetest and most docile of them all in terms of getting along, because I see her chase her off a little bit, but that's my baby, that's Marshmallow. Marshmallow is my like number one beloved. I've wanted her for, since I wanted chickens, I've wanted Marshmallow. I also wanted one red hen named Belina. I don't know why. And then I do want to get some more of whatever this is. I don't know what kind of chicken this is. I'm going to have to look it up. Um, I've had them two days, so I really got to figure out what they are. These are my adopted babies. And then my last chicken has probably laid another egg because she is like the queen layer over there. Um, she loves sitting on her eggs, so they don't know that there's food in here. Hi, Belina. You want this? Look. You want this? We'll put it in the hole. Here. Look, look at that. Look what you got here. Look, come here. Stand on top of this and you can come and get you some food. Are you making noise? Oh yeah, she's figured it out. She sees it. And then this, I'm going to sprinkle just into the hay a little bit because they absolutely love it. Look here. You see it? You're like, no. You see? Oh, I love them so much. Oh my goodness. And then I gotta get that water out. I hear you. I hear you, baby. Now I gotta get that water out and dump it, um, which I'm gonna have to put the phone down to do that because I can't film and do that, but they're so cute. I love them so much. I don't even know what to say. This was a super big surprise. Um, wasn't expecting to get chickens uh, in January in the freezing cold, but they were up for adoption and I saw the opportunity and I took it. I'm so excited to have them. They're exactly what I wanted. You just walk through your water. I've got to get a proper water dish. We have a heated water bowl coming for them. So I'm going to be really excited to get that because they just trample through that one and destroy it. Yeah, you're precious. I love them so much. Um, so hopefully they like this water, I mean water, hopefully they like this food feeder. Um, it's a big one, so hopefully they like it. Do you see it? Do you get it? I'm gonna try it. They're used to it. They had a pink one that was flat at their other house where they were from, and they used it. So hopefully they like this and not just the, yeah, see she found the scratch that I <laughs> dumped out. She said, yes, I found it. Um... So, and the blue you're seeing is a tarp. We have a tarp underneath the hay um, because we just wanted to try to keep the wood under here as preserved as possible. So we have a tarp under there. Did you lay an egg last night? Can I see? Oh, you mad? You mad I'm over here looking? Can I see? Let's see if there's an egg in here. Oh, can you see? Oh, her. Booty is so oh, my oh, that's an old egg. So that's not a new egg. That's an old one. I actually marked um, an egg with an X uh, that was with her when I got them. When I adopted her, she came with an egg. So I marked it with an X and left it in there just so that they would know, like, you know, this is where you will go to um, lay your eggs and be comfortable and everything. And so I could take this out of there now. I'm probably going to go on and take it out. Looks like we got some eggs, so I'm going to be taking these eggs out of here. Thank you, babies. We got some eggs today. <gasps> Look. We didn't get any new ones yesterday, so pretty good.
Okay, so one thing I wanna show you guys that I'm doing for the chickens, I did it yesterday and they loved it. So I'm gonna explain what I'm doing. So I've got this pellet here, this massive uh, pellet crumble. You can see it's like a crumbled pellet, a lot better. It basically looks like this. And they're not super big fans of it, obviously, because they're new to it, right? So what I'm doing is, I'm actually, and this is what is in their feeder in the shed. So what I'm doing is, I'm taking this crumble and it sticks to the corn really well. So I did this yesterday, kind of just like that. A handful and yeah, gloves dirty. But basically what I do is I put it in where the corn, which is wet, and then I shake it in it and it covers the corn. So I know they're getting the nutrition from the pellets, right? So I did this yesterday. They ended up eating all of it plus all of the crumbles. So I was really pleased with that. And I'm gonna do this again today because they seem to really, really like it. They see the corn. You love it. They see it. Okay, here you go. I gave you extra today because it was really cold last night. Look, babies. Love it. You love it, babies. Good babies. Good. Good babies. One. Marshmallow it good, good babies. <laughs> Gotta hold the bowl to flip it. Is it good babies? Good. We love it. No, you're too big to be on that ball, Belina. Oh, you're just getting there, you little fat. Oh, that's my finger. Sweet baby. Oh, she's found the romaine. She loves it. Oh, Belina, you gotta share. Marshmallow likes it too. Yes, hello, baby. I love you. I know. This is the sweet one that loves attention. Let's pet her. That's the skittish one who is loves her egg laying. Are you pooping? Are you poop. What you doing, sweet baby? They're gonna eat all the romaine, y'all better get some. Oh, marshmallow. <laughs> She's so funny. It's like I have a parrot. I know. You're being loud today. You're being so loud. You've been yelling. Sweetest, 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 sweetest one. Look, they're trying to get that moth. That's yeah. why they're fighting and like chasing it. I was like, what are they doing? This one is the sweetest, sweetest, sweetest baby. All right, so we are in here in the chicken coop. So one of the things that they definitely need is a dust bath, which is basically where the chickens can get in here and clean themselves. Um, but they don't have that obviously, and it's freezing cold outside and I obviously can't let them stay outside all day or anything like that. And the ground is solid and muddy. Everything out here is just mud where the snow has been melting. So I went and bought this little mixing tub. It's actually a really small concrete mixing tub, um, smaller than the average ones. And then I got a bag of kitty play sand 
and some diatomaceous earth. So from all my research, I read that those are safe to mix, just a little bit of the diatomaceous earth, not a lot. And then um, the play sand can just be put in here and then the chickens will get in here and clean themselves. So we're gonna put this in here, mix this up, let them have it. And then when they're done with it and they've moved on, I'm gonna take it out. And the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys for this video that we sat up for the chickens is this heated water bowl. So this is actually just a heated pet bowl off of Amazon. I'm not sponsored or anything. Um, but this is gonna make it so that their water doesn't freeze at night. I'm gonna put more in there obviously. But um, this is basically just gonna make it so that they've got water at night because this thing freezes when the temperature drops really, really bad. Um, even though it's off the ground, we have it hovering. Um, it still freezes, um, but just so that they have water um, at all times. So this is gonna be warm. The bowl is already warm, I can feel it. Yeah, it's already warm, but it's not hot or anything like that. Like it's safe for pets. This is a pet water bowl, um, but yeah. So I'm gonna fill this up some more and that is gonna be for the chickens. So they'll have warm water at nighttime. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my new little chickens. I have no idea how long this video ended up being, but I have a lot of clips that I wanted to share with you. Like I said in the intro, let me know if there's any comments or suggestions you guys uh, want me to know. Anything you want me to know at all, put it in the comments down below. I'll be reading. I'm really happy to show the chickens to you guys. I've wanted to show them to you all week long. It's been so hard staying quiet because I've wanted them for so long, and I really feel like... All my dreams are finally happening. Like I finally got my chickens, I'm on the farm, things are going great. So yeah, it's just really exciting. I'm very happy to have them. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if there's anything you guys want me to know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Be kind, bye.